and door keys. Um, we've got Salad Molly here, and Hi. today we are launching something brand new. Yay! Uh, well, I say it's brand new, but it kind of piggybacks on our Where Are We Wednesdays right. that we feature with um, highlighting and spotlighting local businesses. Mm -hmm. So today we are starting a series and we're going to call it Local Vibes. We're going to launch it on our YouTube channel and you'll look for the banner at the top um, and you'll you'll notice that we are um, kind of wanting to bring it to life. Right. And so you guys can kind of see what our favorite places are and we can go into some of the local businesses so we can bring it to you. You can get to know some of the owners. We're going to interview um, owners and uh, also show you the products that they sell. So yes. it's going to be very interactive and then you'll have to let us know if you go to the shop and um, let us know if you buy anything and what it is. We'd love to know. Yeah, we want to know your thoughts. Yes. And if you have a local business and you want us to feature you on our YouTube channel, we'll be more than happy to do that. We just really want to encourage people to shop local during this pandemic because we're all struggling in some form or fashion. Mm -hmm. So we just really want to support our local businesses. Yes, local vibes. Yes. So today, where are we, Molly? We are at Triad Marketplace. Yes, we love Triad Marketplace. The owner, Stephen Beck, is going to chat with us just a little bit in a second. And um, we'll show you a little bit of the store, why we like it. Um, we're actually wearing pieces that we've gotten from here. Yes. It has a really vintage feel to it. and. We just love that, and it's very relaxed and peaceful. We're in Jamestown. It's one of our favorite little cities. It's very quaint and fun. So. Yes. So let's go meet Stephen and see what he's up to and chat with him for a second and show you the store. Right, so we're about to walk into Triad Marketplace, and this is Stephen, the That's owner. Cool. Stephen Beck, yep. Yes. He's awesome, uh, a lot of fun. He's very personable, so come meet him. He's awesome. Please do. Let's go in. I've never been there. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, Steve, how did you come about um, starting this business? Yeah, so oddly enough, I started as a vendor of, of a shop um, just making handmade furniture, home decor items, something that I didn't really know. I wanted it to be a business at the time. It was more or less just a hobby. And so over the course of time, um, you know, that grew and developed into its own business. And I was approached uh, by a shop owner um, that was just like, hey, I want to try to get rid of this business. And I realized that you have some sense about you and know how to operate and own a couple different businesses. Right. And so um, my only stipulation to that was we got to move it to somewhere that I'm really passionate about and in the direction that I, I really wanted to go in. And so we were able to launch Tri Marketplace in Jamestown. Um, certainly... An awesome little town. If you've never been, there's more than just us here. There's all, yeah, yeah, yeah. local restaurants, local little shops. Um, a lot of people come, and if you've never been to Jamestown, they usually say something like, you know, this has a blowing rock feel to it, it or does. something that way. Yeah, and yeah. so, um, so I was kind of passionate about getting it here into uh, downtown Jamestown in a farmhouse setting, which really hits a good vibe for right. uh, how our home decor and uh, and the furniture goes. But um, once we got here. Um, I've since then really been looking to put my own stamps on things. Okay. And so we have the cafe, yeah. which was a big aspect to, um, to the store now. And, uh, we've and had, that's where we're sitting right now is yes. in the cafe. Yeah. yeah. We so, love the cafe. I, my personal favorite is the caramel coffee. <laughs> <laughs> he makes awesome coffee. <laughs> Any coffee, uh, you know, is certainly uh, a good choice for me at this point. But we, uh, so we, we have the cafe with snacks and, and the drinks, and we even have uh, beer and wine if that's something um, that is uh, is a good time of the day for you to uh, to, to partake in. But, um, you know, so once we got the cafe up and launched, you know, since then it's really just been more about featuring my vendors because we have other people other than just myself with the handmade furniture and home decor um, that I could certainly speak about all their crafts and things that they're good at. But um, really, we are we're excited about some, some special things to come. Right, good. Okay. So you said that you came to Jamestown. How long have y'all been here? Yeah, so we've been here roughly about a year okay. um, now for me and the cafe that we're sitting in now uh, since the start of 2020. So we haven't really 
had a very long period of time that we've been here uh, with with our you know footprint on things, um, and it's been obviously during a tough time where we've had to be shut down for the month of April and some other things that way. So I would still call us very new, and we have a lot of people that still come in and they say never been here. What is this place about? Which is um, which is certainly something we're comfortable with because um, we we've hardly been here. Right. Yeah. So you talked about vendors, and you have a lot of different vendors in here. So are you actually one of the vendors? Like- yeah. So um, my wife and I still have our furniture business um, and home decor. I'll say uh, that we have plenty of our items as part of the store. Now we okay. do a lot of custom work as well, and so um, you know folks come to us, and we may not have that exact item they're looking for in our uh, try marketplace location, and so we're still able to work with them and come up with their designs and their feel for things. But you know certainly uh, a good example of what we do as part of the store. So we have furniture that's on site that if somebody wants to sit down and have a coffee and they decide, man, I'm really enjoying this piece. Right. I want to take it home with me they can yeah. um, and then there's signs and things around uh, that you may see in the shot here uh, that certainly you know can be purchased at the time of, of uh, somebody visiting the store uh, but then beyond just myself you know we do have other vendors um, I realized when I was a vendor somewhere else that there's people out there that they are good at their craft you know and I'm yeah. not gonna try to be something for everybody right. in every direction and so you don't want to find Stephen making a candle. Let's put it that way. Um, so we've got somebody that does the, the candles made in Greensboro. Um, clothing. Again, you see my attire. It may not be um, that that's my special gift. And so we went out and reached out to somebody that's good in clothing. And so, um, you know, we work with other folks to really feature them and what they're good at. Right. Awesome. So if somebody wanted to come in, though, and... and like specifically order something, do you go find it or is it just whatever's in here? No, I mean, so part of what I've actually added to my arsenal, if you will, as now the shop owner, is to go out and pick and look for things. Um, So I make things, you know, rustic and farmhouse inspired and I would say even industrial modern um, as my own craft. But that doesn't fit everybody's right. you know, vibe and feel. Right. And so I like to go out now and look for things that are just, hey, you can't recreate this. You know, you right. can't make right. um, a stained glass window from, right. you know, the early 1900s. You have right. to kind of find that. Right. And so now, you know, I'll go out and pick for things and look right. for things. Um, and we have people come in all the time and they'll say like, hey, I'm looking for some old corbels. Can you go out and, and find or locate those? And so I'll go and try to put my finger on some and get them yeah. in the shop. Uh, the big thing right now um, are these uh, baskets, almost like a boho basket yeah. type deal. And so I lucked upon finding like, I'd say close to 50 of these baskets and just brought them all back okay. to, the, to yeah. the shop just because that's something that you know, a lot of people like. So that's not really from a specific vendor. Okay. That's me going out also and doing some right. picking there. So. Gotcha. so if you want a one-of-a-kind type thing, he's your guy. Yeah, yes. yeah. I mean, we might get this in a shot later, yeah. but just as an example, I was picking uh, most recently here this last week and saw a canoe. And so I decided, you know, not everybody needs an old school canoe. Right. I'm going to cut this bad boy in half and I'm going to turn it into a shelf. And oh. so... You can't go and find that at like you know your local furniture store necessarily, and so I cut this boat in half, turned it into a shelf, and now you know it's perfect for somebody's lake house or cabin yes. or maybe yes. just somebody's you know awesome. home. So we'll, we'll make sure we show that to you. Yes, in a bit. we're going to give a tour of the store so that way y'all can see. Um, but you know, in regards to vendors, you say that you go out and find them. If somebody inquired about renting a space here, like do you entertain that or? Yeah. So I mean, again. I, uh, I'm always open to folks, you know, basically displaying what they're really good at because right. I realize, again, I, I can't be good at all things, and I'm really not. So, um, really? Yeah, yeah, seriously. I, trust me. I, I know I put on a good, uh, you know, false display uh, that I have confidence, but um, no. So, you know, if somebody comes in and they have pictures or maybe an example of, of what they are good at, there's a time where we may bring that in, okay. um, you know, and, and say, hey, you know, this is still as much of a vendor market as it is a black dog wood creations uh, market. So, um, you know, if, if you have a, a good um, 
hobby. You never know, it might turn into a business for you and you right, want to get right. started somewhere. I'm always open to ideas for sure. Okay, perfect. And um, he's very active on social media. Do you want to plug your social media real quick? Sure, yeah. So a couple of ways that you can find us if you're interested. Uh, at Triad Marketplace would be one. Um, that's the store location here at 109 West Main Street in Jamestown. Um, it kind of encompasses all these things we've been talking about. Other people's vendor, you know, other people's work, I should say, vendors, creations, and our cafe side. So you'll have a hard time when you see a cookie the size of your face on our Instagram, not coming and indulging yourself. It's a struggle. Um, and then there's also at Black Dog Wood Creations, um, which is more of my, you know, personal furniture, home decor side. Um, many of which, again, uh, can be found in our store, but if not, and you're looking for a custom piece, you have that opportunity as well. Okay, perfect. Well, I think what we'll do is give a tour of the store, and Stephen, if you want to, like, kind of point out pieces while we do that, that'd be great. Sure. Yes. I want Absolutely. to see that canoe piece. Yeah. We can do it. Okay, good. Okay. So, here is the cafe side. So, this is where we were just sitting and interviewing Stephen. So, Stephen, give us, like, a little walk around. Yeah, so when you come in the shop, um, my first place I'm headed in the morning is over here to the cafe. Certainly, you can come up to the bar area here um, and pick out any selection of drinks, whether it's smoothies, coffees, as I mentioned, beer and wine. Um, and then we also have lots of treats as well, so we've got that whole aspect. Uh, if you want to kind of pan around this room, uh, we have the whole store set up to where, you know, you can buy anything. So if you came in and you decided, I want this one pumpkin, you could come in and grab a pumpkin and walk out. Um, you could try out the table and sit at that while you enjoy your uh, treat or, or drink and then, you know, purchase it if that was something you're interested in. You know, pause there. So hanging out at the table and stuff, does that mean that, like, you offer Wi-Fi so people can hang out here? If we yeah, to? yeah, absolutely. Okay. So we have a, a Wi-Fi that reaches our front porch, okay. inside the cafe spaces, upstairs, outdoors, oh, on our back patio, okay. so plenty of areas. Oh, I see. So you don't have to go to Starbucks. You can come here. There you hey. go. <laughs> And then there's the canoe piece that he was talking about earlier that he made into a shell. Cool. We love it. Okay, so if we want to walk this way, about how? So this would be like kind of the entry. Yeah, so we call it kind of our market room because we have uh, all sorts of like grab and go type snacks. Um, you know, K Vegas nuts seems to be a, a popular choice for people that are looking for like a little quick snack. Yes. Uh, they have all sorts of varieties that way. And so people can come in here, uh, grab something uh, from like our little grocery market area. Okay. But also, this has become a very popular meeting space, I would say, because mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of tucked in the back of our uh, farmhouse here. And so we have we always have a table back here in this space where people can sit and enjoy themselves. Uh, again, just as a space that they may want to hang out right. in. Right, and it's kind of tucked away so you don't have to listen to other people. Right. And then, too, you know, you host events, too, because we've had a Where Are We Wednesday here before on the patio. And so do you all still do things like that? Yeah, so the pandemic has obviously put right. a tough, <laughs> you know, grip yes. on us being able to do a lot of events okay. but uh, we've had private uh, birthday parties for folks we've had like a, right. um, business luncheons here okay. recently cool. and so we seem to have private events still taking place which is always fun okay. uh, but hopefully as we kind of work out of this right. we'll have the, the public events as well yes Yeah, absolutely. See what's in here. So this would be a good example of um, other people using their crafts. You know, I, I don't do a lot in terms of uh, knitting, sewing, all that kind of stuff. It's just not my specialty. Uh, but other people do, and so you can come in and get good textiles like this, a pillow. Uh, it can even be customized with someone's name. And so this is where we reach out to other folks so they can uh, kind of do what they're special at and showcase themselves. This is my favorite pumpkin spice and everything nice. Yes! <laughs> Definitely more of the farmhouse feel. 
Yeah, very much modern farmhouse, um, large tapestries on the wall. Um, I know this is kind of a, a, a little sector of the market we haven't really talked about, but we even have kids' clothing as well. Um, yeah. In fact, this stuff, if I could fit in one of those, I would wear it because it's that <laughs> soft. So yes. uh, some pretty cool patterns and, and stuff that way as well. Yeah, so this was the farmhouse's working kitchen. And when it comes to decorating and kind of working in a space like this, it can kind of be a challenge, but we have tried to make it as homey as we can. We've actually got some other exciting things to come for this room. Uh, because it is tucked again towards the back of the farmhouse. It's one of the last things, sadly, that we feel like, you know, we need to really put energy and effort into that. But I'll say, if you catch this video now and you see the way it looks, definitely stay tuned to see how it looks in, you know, a couple weeks from now. I can't wait. I'm excited. Yeah, I like this. It. It's really cozy back here. So let's go on upstairs and see what's upstairs. Perfect. So we're heading upstairs. There's more goodies up here. I love behind you is the little claw tub bathtub. I just have to point that out because I think that bathroom is so cool. <laughs> Many have wanted to take that with them um, uh, as a purchase. <laughs> Me included. Right. <laughs> So tell us about this room. Yeah, so we kind of start intermingling a whole different variety of items here uh, with jewelry and clothing. Um, you know, basically we've had a lot of home decor, we've had the cafe, we've got furniture, but now we also have a side to where, you know, if you're here and maybe a t-shirt speaks to you or you'll see in a room coming up here where we have more of a designer clothing type feel as well. Uh, a little something to kind of speak to everybody. Right, and I think it, it kind of almost feels uh, like a boutique almost yeah. up here, so I really like that. Um, it's just a little bit different, but the same as you come upstairs, so um, let's go in the clothing room. Absolutely. That'd be fun. I love these baseball caps. And my favorite piece I'm going to point out right away before you tell us about this room is the leopard skirt. Right. <laughs> I'm a leopard print. Oh, nice. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, so we also have the leopard print shoes to uh, go yeah. with it as well if that's something uh, that speaks to you. But, um, yeah, we, we, again, try to speak a little bit of the boutique feel and especially this room because this is more of a designer type clothing uh, feel um, to where Alexandra Rue is the vendor's name. She, you know, gets new fall looks in, new winter looks, you know, everything kind of works as a, a shopping experience with her clothing. Right. I like it a lot. Yes. Wow. So we are in the last room of the store. Steven, tell us about this room. Yeah, so um, this room has a little mixture of different vibes going on um, because we like to try to showcase that you can kind of take different styles in a house and blend it all together. Um, so it has a little bit of an industrial feel, it has a little bit of a farmhouse feel, it has a little bit of like an antique even mm -hmm. uh, deal to it. Um, and so for now, we have it kind of set up that way where uh, a lot of different vibes and design styles are intermingling. Now, I have to kind of point towards uh, one of our vendors, Printology Press, um, because she makes clay earrings, but then also has really cool journals. So uh, I, I mentioned those items specifically in this room uh, because A, you never know what you're gonna find in the farmhouse here in different spaces. There's a little bit of everything everywhere. Uh, and B, we also try to have something again for all sorts of different audiences. So it's not just the mom that needs to go shop for different items. It might be, you know, the teen that's with her that, you know, says, hey, I, you know, that journal's really cool. Yes. Or uh, that sticker is awesome for my water bottle, so. Yeah, like I love this one. I wanna buy it. I probably will. 
Um, but then again, when we go through the store, everything that's in each room is for sale. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, as you're making your way through the farmhouse, um, you're probably thinking, hey, that's probably just a display item mm -hmm. or that's just something that helps hold the, the stickers and the jewelry. Right. But that's not the case. You know, even the item you're sitting at to have coffee, it's all for sale. Okay. Back downstairs, and we just wanted to take a second and thank Stephen yes. for having us and hosting us. Um, when you walk in the front door, hopefully you'll see his shining face or his workers. But it's awesome, awesome place to come visit. So I hope you'll take the time and um, be sure to tag us and let us know if you visit and follow yes. him on Instagram. Stephen, plug your stuff one more time. Yeah. Um, so at Tribe Marketplace and at Black Dog Wood Creations. Yay! Yes. So come see him. Um, they're open. You want to tell your hours? Yeah, so right now our hours, um, again, just be prepared for these to possibly switch around with the pandemic going on. But for now, uh, it's Tuesday through Saturday, or excuse me, Wednesday through Saturday, uh, 7 a.m. until 4 p.m. Great. Right. Okay. So come visit. Hashtag local box. Yeah. Bye, guys.